loves what she's doing. So she's able to reach out to people, and that's important. She has a way of bringing people together. In fact, all of us truly felt the power and the conviction of what is possible when a group of people work together. Susan is the most real person that I've ever met. Susan is a friend. Well, she has that passion to serve students, and I think that's why she's fit in so well at UNC. And these are qualities uh, you, you don't find them in many leaders. November 20, 2006, UMUC's fifth president, Dr. Susan Aldridge, stands before her staff and celebrates their achievements and the achievements of the university. You demonstrate reliability and loyalty and cooperation while working to achieve our goals and objectives. And as you know, this past year, we have just hit such incredible goals for a university. The regents, the chancellor, and people continue to talk about how in the world this team pulled together to achieve what they perceived to be the impossible. By the time she was actually in the position, she had reorganized uh, activities, uh, gotten everybody to work together on this uh, enrollment issue. I don't recall a better example of leadership to address a real problem. The l degree of cooperation, the sense of ownership spread throughout the organization. And it was one of the most uh, remarkable and successful uh, such efforts I've ever seen. Remarkable is an adjective often used to describe the accomplishments of teams led by Dr. Aldridge. Suddenly you sense that this is a magical event, that it's going to be not only successful, but fun. And that's the enjoyment I get out of working with her. At Troy University, her success with creating national and international partnerships received attention and acclaim. She initially served uh, Troy as uh, the regional director for the Western region. Uh, but she was uh, so powerful in her approach that we quickly uh, drafted her to the main campus. And soon she was vice chancellor and uh, really helped establish uh, distance learning uh, dimension to the university helped us as we internationalized Troy University. I have been so impressed by all of the energy that she has put into um, promoting the university and helping to grow the university and, and there's, a, there's an energy there that um, is infectious and so um, my impression is that um, she's a tireless worker and uh, when you see how hard she works it's hard not to, to feel as if you need to pitch into. She loves what she's doing and that passion it comes out you can't fake it and that's why we connect that's why I like her so much and love what she's doing for the university because she has what the university needs someone who is passionate about his success someone who cares about the students and its alumni and the state of Merlin look what we're doing for the state of Merlin how positive. The first time I had an opportunity to really teach on a full-time basis was at the National University of Singapore when I was there. And, and that combined a really rich academic environment with um, international students, Muslim students, Chinese students, Indian students, all, you know, all with different challenges and interesting issues and it was a, a, a cultural melting pot in a way that was just um, extraordinary for me as a faculty member, uh, as well as just a, an observer of, of three very, very different cultures. And um, academia has always been important to me. The well-being of students is equally important to Dr. Aldridge. Former strategic management student Michael Batchelor was ready to quit his master's program following a family crisis. She called me at home. Uh, I believe it was from either Hong Kong or Beijing or somewhere, and she just encouraged me and said, listen, you, you asked me to hold you accountable to this program. Don't quit. Don't quit. You'll, you'll be very upset with yourself if you do. 
And it's because of that uh, commitment and dedication that she gave to not only myself, but to other students uh, that really gave me the charge to go on. And I really, I got off the phone and I sat there on my front porch and I basically just sobbed and said, hey, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't go that next step. We have to ensure that these students receive an education that they're proud of and that we're proud of as well. So I'm passionate about serving these students who have challenging lives. Some of them are not in control of their schedules. Some of them have family obligations, financial obligations. Most of our students are working professionals. We want to ensure that in spite of all the challenges that they have in their life, that they're getting a great education here and that we care about them. We will read about you in books, we will read about you in articles, and we will be so proud that you are graduates of UMUC. On behalf of all of my colleagues here at UMUC, I congratulate all of you for your accomplishments today. Wish you enormous success. Congratulations. UMUC continues to innovate and create exciting opportunities for our students. University of Maryland University College, Maryland's higher education connection to the world.